I'm just thrown off by the fact that it wasn't me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to San Francisco. Be the weirdest start to the set down we've ever done. Uh, get, get they trudge their way to the stage. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come Lovely, lovely. No, do I have chairs? I have three chairs, I have two chairs, I have two chairs. Two chairs, two chairs, two chairs, one chair. Worst all chair. Good. Okay, first one is hard, ladies and gentlemen. I think Alan. I am indeed. This game is called Freeze Tag. It's going to incorporate all of us, so if you can turn around. Okay. I'll pick you in a second. Basically, what we're going to have is we're going to have two people who will come out, I'll pick them in a second. And they're going to do a scene, and then at any point, these guys can shout freeze and come in, tag the person, and take over from where they were in the scene. Mike, your pick now. Oh! Well done. Can't just and get Tom. Water. Uh, so, can I have a position for Tom to start in? And he's going to have to justify that in the scene. Yeah. Fetal position. Fetal position, Tom. <laughs> you would. I'm a very large man, this will take ages. <laughs> Carry on. And can we have a position for Mike to be in? Start job. Dab and dog. Pooing. Oh, it's a hacker. I heard hacker. Hacker? Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. 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 <laughs> to be honest, that never looked as scary on the television. No, it didn't because I'm not New Zealander. So, uh, that's a word. <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, why did I have to give birth to you again? <laughs> Freeze! Surprise to me as well. Thank you. No, that's, I shouldn't have started with that. Oh. <laughs> I actually thought I was. Right, I mean, I, I know this is just role play. Yeah, for a safe from harm workshop. But there's no need to start those things. Well, that's not what we do. No, no, no. That's not how we do it. It's not, we never walk into the classroom and go, whoa! Freeze! <laughs> What's that? Welcome to my shop. Watch your come in. Alright. Um, I'm looking for a new pair of shoes. Excellent, because I am Clarks, so. <laughs> <laughs> they are a new pair of shoes. Yeah, they are, but I want another new pair of shoes. I'm never satisfied! You greedy. Freeze. greedy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lot bigger than I am. <laughs> Step right. Your, be your beard is very scary. I am going to... You can carry on. <laughs> you I came here for a shave. Oh dear. <laughs> I am a shoe shop, but I would love to shave you if I had the equipment. Sit your damn ass down in that chair. I am on it. Oh, no, man with no name, sorry, sorry. Me in the chair? Yeah, well, I'm sitting there. <laughs> so, what size are you? Nine? Freeze! <laughs> no, this is the best book I own. Angela's Ashes. <laughs> I, got it, I got it bound in leather, even though originally it was only released on a Kindle. <laughs> That's also, you've got it bound in leather to your hands, though, I see. Yes! <laughs> well, it's human Does that leather. not make life a bit inconvenient? I mean, how do, you, how do you, like, you know, tie your shoes and stuff? Uh, like I have I did have a magic <laughs> record. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm taking a shit, man! <laughs> Albert. Do you remember now? Oh. Yeah? Ah, the 
I do wish you'd stop playing these games. It's begin okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I just get caught up. Please. You want to leave that? It's for a really good show. What is it about? Sandwiches. <laughs> it's just a sandwich box. Isn't it? Yeah. What is your angle? I don't want to hold this anymore. I want to put it in the rubbish. But I can't be. <laughs> just take it. I don't you want to take it. Just take it. Why not take it? Visit. <laughs> Mordor? Why would I want to go there? Unless I'm carrying the one ring to rule them all. Oh! Get in! Oh! <laughs> End of the game! system for deciding the end of the game there, as the players just walk off the stage. Empty <laughs> vanished, so like, what? Uh, our next game I've just realised the colossal problem we've made for ourselves, because we've covered our bar in drinks. Um, <laughs> how appropriate. If we can do this, <laughs> yeah. Then. Everyone just watches right, the table, right. glasses off the table. Intermission! I would help. You are a giant, so yeah. So, <laughs> How tall are you, Tom? I'm six foot seven. <laughs> You've been a waiter. Trivia. <laughs> Have you ever been a waiter? I've been waiting all my life. That's a tall order. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 let's stop now. No, no, no. Keep going, otherwise. <laughs> Good! Our next game, ladies and gentlemen, smooth as fuck. Uh, is, <laughs> our next game, ladies and gentlemen, is called Bartender. This game should actually be introduced by Mike, but we're here now. Um, <laughs> this game's called Bartender, ladies and gentlemen. So what's going to happen is we, um, I, th I think it's Alan's bartender? Nope, no, me. Shit. Time to introduce this game. It's not, it's not. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is called Bartender. <laughs> I will be being a bartender uh, whilst several of my clients, they have unfortunate problems that they need. They can't afford counselling, so what's the next best thing? Bartender. That's the answer. Uh, I will be playing the bartender. But they will come in, they will sing me their problems, I will sing them a response. And if we all remember how poorly I rhymed in doo-wop earlier, this should be quite the spectacle. Um, so, uh, Alan, Jazz and Dave are going to be playing this game. Uh, so can I have a unusual problem for Alan, please? Um, Fizzly large testicles. <laughs> that sounded a lot like there was a frisbee on his testicles. <laughs> unfeasibly large. Unfeasibly large. That does make more sense. He has unfeasibly large testicles. Good. Uh, can I have a uh, problem for Jazz, please? He's King Midas. You are King Midas. Everything you touch turns to gold. For those who don't know what King Midas, who King Midas is. Uh, can I have a problem for Dave, please? Fulu is coming. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's the octopus thing on his shirt. Yeah. Outstanding. Fulu from the HP Lovecraft uh, world. Really scary oh, little octopus. What I'm really enjoying about the divide in this game is everybody on this side of the room went, yeah, I know who that is. And over here. Uh, okay, and by the way, I'm heavily on this side. Uh, uh, good, so Cthulhu is attacking. Attacking, did we say? Could yeah, good. Yeah. Could have been going on holiday or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, so to summarise, and feasibly large testicles, King Midas, the fool is attacking. So do I start then? My first. Uh, no, one of the others can. Right, sorry, then. <clears throat> it's quite a night tonight. <laughs> Apparently, I had two drinkers in earlier. <laughs> Could really tidy those up in the mud. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. How's it going? Alright. Yeah? Yeah, I'm better off. Sit down. <laughs> uh, do, you want, do, you want a, do you want a drink? I've got a special on Gold Schlag. Um, <laughs> if you can pour it in my mouth. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> But, uh, there wasn't that much gold in the bottle when it started. No, you're right. You see, uh, I've got a bit of a problem. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why don't you, uh, why don't you tell me about it? <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> <laughs> he had two drinks, huh? <laughs> See, I am King Minus. 
Everything I touch turns to gold. I touch my penis. And then it was sold. <laughs> so I ran out of money. <laughs> Think it might sound odd. <coughs> With this weird problem. I just can't get a job. Mm. Here's what I think you've got to do. You need to get over it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Everything you touch turns to gold. You know what people would give for that. I mean, I'm not calling you names, but you're the richest man I know. You're a bit of a twat. <laughs> Shouldn't be complaining about it. If everything I touch turned to gold, I would own more than this pub. I would probably own a car, <laughs> a helicopter, maybe another pub. <laughs> just, just live with it. <laughs> you know what? Too much better. That's all. <laughs> <hard. laughs> really need to get more atmosphere in here. It seems to be affected. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yeah? I don't have much time. Why? What's happening? I have no time to explain. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like that means something. Give me some drink very quickly. Okay. And, and then I might have some time to explain. Kraken? Ah, why? <laughs> you see, I really much preferred Good strong beer. I'm living in a state of perpetual fear. And a horrible elder being is pursuing me, and I feel I ought to shout. But I'm not even sure that most people know what I'm on about. <laughs> <laughs> From the moment that you walked in, I could see we were going to have an issue. You seem to be crying here, have a tissue. <laughs> None of the other people in this pub seem to know what your problem is. You have a look that says, you know. And I don't want you to be harmed. Tell me, is your attacker armed? He's many armed. <laughs> <laughs> have you considered just taking him and punching him in the throat? <laughs> Oh, I might give that a shout. I'll just sit here. Space helpers in here, didn't you see the sign? Everywhere I go, I have the same problem. <laughs> Your voice breaks since you came in. <laughs> it's well, let me explain. <laughs> you see, my problem is not small. I have not one. But two giant balls. <laughs> they are unfeasibly large. You can see. Mm. Yes. So please just tell me what I can do. Help me. It seems to me there's only one way to solve your problem. That would be a wankathon. <laughs> There's nothing else that you're going to be able to do. You're just going to have to sit there and crank out one or two. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the only way you can tear down these walls between you and women and your giant, giant balls. <laughs> That's my advice to you. Just clear out the pipes. And please don't come back again <laughs> until you can sit properly on the chair. <laughs> until you can learn to wipe. Fine, George, you're right. 
Not called George, but thanks anyway. I'm going to start it now. Yes. <laughs> is Party Quirks, it's considering Tom hosted that one, Laura Rubley as well, I might add. Um, I will host this one. Now, what is going to happen is Dave is going to have to leave the room. Bye, Dave. 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 Bye,
just leave you to reflect on the <laughs> more specific. Are you, are you me? <laughs> You're right, but it's slightly rolling. Okay, are you my mirror self from the other universe? <laughs> That's close <laughs> enough. Yeah, it's very, it's very <laughs> well, that, that, that was a fairly rapid point, wasn't it? This is a weird party. Do you just shout every second word? Yeah. yeah. In any way, I do. <laughs> And the pie quotes, ladies and gentlemen! Right, the next game is called Two Headed Expert. Uh, it's going to be Tom and Mike. One more, one more. Oh, and uh, oh, me as well. <laughs> Uh, Tom and Mike are going to be an expert in something. They are both going to be the same expert and they're going to speak one word each. And from you, I need to get an area of expertise in which I am going to interview them on. Rope munching. <laughs> Rope munching. <laughs> I hope you mean Egyptian rugs, my friend. You know, because they are not tasty. <laughs> Too spicy. Moving on. <laughs> well, let's start, shall we? Uh, hello, and welcome to You Have Sand in There. Today <laughs> <laughs> we have Dr. Les Boss here, and he's an expert in, <laughs> in rock munching. Is that right? <laughs> yes. It is. I am an expert if you are asking. <laughs> well, see if that's what this today's show is about. I am. So tell me, is there a particular technique to the rug bunching which makes it good? Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'll take that as a, as a yes then. Um, what, what has interested you in it? Well, I would have to say that I am a deeply passionate and womanly <laughs> and <laughs> Principled man <laughs> who often enjoys partaking in the act of munch. <laughs> Rugging. <laughs> As I like to call it. <laughs> is that a term you've coined yourself? Yes, it is. Good, good. So, so for the viewers at home who perhaps haven't had a chance to get involved yet, is there any particular areas in which it is most prominent? Well, definitely in Ayanapa. <laughs> it's quite big there. I see, I see. Is that a geographical thing or is it just that's the word? Little of Column A and letter of column B. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to open it up to you, and because I can tell that they've got so many questions to ask. So, do you have any questions for Dr. Lesbos? <laughs> What's the best kind of uh, rug to munch? Ah, well, I would always go for a Persian cotton <laughs> <laughs> because it's tastier and. Better nutritionally. <laughs> there you have it. It can be incorporated into your diet. Uh, what about cleaning? Question. What about cleaning? What about cleaning? <laughs> you want to clean your rugs daily. <laughs> I'd recommend that you clean with many, many types of soap. And also USB <laughs> devices <laughs> like a Hoover. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any more questions for Doctor Lesbos? Have you ever run much the rug of a celebrity? That man's been drinking. <laughs> yes. Well. When I was in the late teens, I met a wonderful, amazing woman by the name of Barbara 
Streisand. Yeah. <laughs> she encouraged me to clean her rug. And I did. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Anything else we can really learn. But I do have one more question. Where do you get your rugs from? Well, that is telling. <laughs> but I will share. I often buy my rugs in various places such as IKEA or the market place in Camden. Or from a giant news agents <laughs> called Marrakesh. Um, involves Tom, Alan and Dave and what's going to happen uh, they are going to argue for and against something <coughs> as if they were like a crazy guy doing a speech and it's what we're trying to get the image of um, so we need um, oh, and also what's going to happen is that uh, we're going to shout um, switch. switch yeah makes sense um, not shout flip flop that's what the game's called uh, <laughs> Shout switch, and what's going to happen is um, the person that's uh, arguing for something is going to then start arguing against it, as if it was just a speech. So if I was to say that Coke is better than Pepsi, uh, Coke is better than Pepsi because why would you ever drink Pepsi? It's shit. Switch. Because that's why I like to drink shit drinks, okay? And so you kind of see where it's going from. Um, but these guys are going to do it much better. So um, can I have... Uh, who wants to go first? Okay, can I get an opinion for Tom? Something that is an opinion that you can argue for and against. Oh. And Lynn was the best dictator. <laughs> <laughs> They're into it. Okay, um, Stalin is the best dictator. Was the best. He is was the best. <laughs> Sorry, you're the expert. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave it to it. Ladies, it. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Stalin is of course the best dictator, if for no other reason than he lasted the longest. Apart from Castro, but we don't talk about Castro. He knows what he did. Switch! <laughs> Which was actually through a very nice party and it really threw him out of the dictator ranking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the main problem with Stalin, ladies and gentlemen, is the moustache. Nobody can take a dictator seriously with a moustache. We know this because Hitler nicked Charlie Chaplin's moustache. <laughs> and instead Stalin went, well I'll see that and I'll raise you this motherfucker. That's what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. Switch. Giant moustache, which I think looks wonderful, really. I'm considering growing one next November. It wouldn't mean I'd have to lose the rest of the beard, but these things are acceptable when you want to look like your heroes. Switch! Not that Stalin is one of my heroes, that would be preposterous. No, 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 I've never been a fan of communism. I've mainly been a fan of socialism, but only for the purposes of making sure that there's somebody to go to the pub with. <laughs> Switch! Thank you. <laughs> Socialism is a terrible concept, ladies and gentlemen, as is communism. You don't want either one of those. Stalin learned that the hard way, ladies and gentlemen, when he died from, let's say, old age. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing you have to know about Stalin, ladies and gentlemen, was he was a trier. That's what you want in your dictators, ladies and gentlemen. You want somebody who will keep pounding away at the working classes. You want somebody who will destroy their morale, who will keep on going until they've got no idea what they're on about, much like I'm doing right now. Switch! Or do I? <laughs> Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I do. I am convincing you that Stalin was an outstanding dictator. Do you know why? Do you know why? No, of course you don't. That's why you're not on stage. I... <laughs> I... Switch! Know nothing about Stalin, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, but I think you'll agree I have winged it fucking brilliantly throughout this. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to end my argument by saying let's rise up against the tomb of Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have a picnic. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Stalin is the best in uh, Can we have an opinion for Dave? Beer, Beer farts don't. smell great. Farts smell Beer great. Beer farts smell great. Beer farts smell great. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to just draw you for a moment into the world, the many very cute world of the fart, of which there are many. The vegetable fart, the bean fart, the surprise fart, the curry fart, the Mexican fart. But there is one fart that is better than all of them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the warm, comforting scent of the morning after beer fart. <laughs> Which, God, takes you by surprise. You would not want that. You don't want that in your ear. It's that horrible, seeping kind of waking up kind of, oh my God, what did I drink? All that. Fred. <laughs> And there it is again. Yeah, I'll just go back to bed with that, actually, with my warm, comfortable memories of last night's beer fart. And um, that's, that's it, because, you know, you know, it's acceptable to beer fart. Once you've had a beer fart, that's great. You can share it with your mates. Way beer fart, brilliant, love it, great. Switch. It's acceptable. Whereas you can't around a, do that around a family dinner table. <laughs> At Christmas dinner. No, there it's the Brussels fart is the acceptable one. That's, you know, you share that with your mum. Oh, not too many for me, mum. I might fart, but not a hefty beer fart. That would be wrong right now. <laughs> Although that would be quite fantastic, actually. No sprouts for me, mum. <laughs> You can feed a beer fart in those circumstances. That's what I say. Beer farts all the way. They're the best kind of fart. They're the ones you can trust. Not like the Mexican fart. That's a shifty fucker. <laughs> Although sometimes colourful. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm going to say that's fact. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Well, we will. We will. We're cool, we're cool. Okay, politicians make terrible comedians. Politicians are inherently terrible comedians because they spend their time shitting on us. <laughs> that's not what you want from a comedian. You want Switch. to be shat on all the time. <laughs> you want to be pissed on. You want, to be, you want a comedian to come up to you and say, you're not allowed to live in that house anymore. I'm taking it away. And then that's what politicians do. That's exactly why they make awesome comedians. <laughs> the comedy festival's coming up, and I think that if Tony Blair came, Switch, we would never ever leave the house. Because <laughs> we'd all be afraid that we'd kill him. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, if. David Cameron or Gordon Brown came to the comedy festival, it would be an entirely different matter. We'd all go with rotten fruit and vegetables and we'd pelt them at them. Switch. Which would be hilarious. Exactly why politicians would be incredible comedians. So I'm going to wrap this up. Switch. No, I'm not. I'm going to carry on. A politician, though, would be able to make this argument, which I am not able to make, which is why I am a less capable comedian than a politician. <laughs> 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 Switch. Probably, probably. <laughs> but I'm not in control of the country, which is a massive, massive pressure off of me. <laughs> so I can make fart jokes and say, shit, politicians can't do that. Switch. I've forgotten my argument. That's it. The politicians are bad comedians, not politicians are shit. That's. Go <laughs> <laughs> either, either way. Either way. No, I don't want politicians on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be delighted to hear that once again it is that time for another edition of everybody's favourite game show, Question This, with your host, Alan Smith. Hello and welcome to another edition of Question This, the game where you provide the answers and our <coughs> contestants provide the questions. <laughs> it is a question. So, um, before we get started, uh, I'm going to introduce you to the rules. You provide us with answers, which we'll give you. 
Hurry up. <laughs> I'm watching you, Jim. Yeah. And our, our contestants will provide the questions for the answers. So, for example, if I gave the topic rivers, you could say Amazon, and our contestants would buzz in with... Buzz? Yes. How would a Jamaican pronounce amazing? <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody clear? Alrighty then! So, for our first contestant, who are you? Bonsoir, je m'appelle Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Marie Antoinette? Oui. What, how did you get here? Oh, time travel, of course. C'est les mon Okay, okay. okay. Uh, contestant number two, who are you? I'm Jock McJock. I'm a very lazy Scottish stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, are you missing home? Not really, it's shite. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, contestant number three. I'm the doctor. Yes, I'm over a thousand years old and I'm from Gallifrey on the constellation of Castellus. I think we all know who you are. I'm standing. <laughs> uh, contestant number four. My name's James and my voice never broke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our first topic is going to be types of shoe. Can we have a type of shoe, please? Stiletto. Buzz. Yes. What's the opposite of a moving stiletto? No. Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go now. I'll give it to contestant number one, I think, yeah. Marie Antoinette, what's your answer? If I was hungry, but I wanted to carry anything, what would I do? Stiletto. <laughs> I'd steal it. It's, it's on the card. So, point goes. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the next topic. Oh, la la. Can I have uh, uh, types of a cake, please? <laughs> types of cake. Cheese. I'm right to talk. I heard cheese. Get that. <laughs> cheese. Cheese is the, is the answer. What is the question? <laughs> We're running out of time. <laughs> Contestant number two. What makes a good salad? Cheese! <laughs> well, he is Scottish, so we'll give it to him. Contestant number two gets the point. Well, 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 well. Pick the question there, next topic. Oh, shite, I didn't, I think that's three. <laughs> Furniture. Furniture! Because I'm looking at some. Shay's long. Shay's long. Us! Oh, contestant number four. What's. What's. Um. <laughs> what is Shay's Shay's shorts friend call? <laughs> Shay's dog! <laughs> we like to pick the next category. <laughs> Animals! Animals! Do we have an animal? Zonkey. A zonkey? A zonkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary Antoinette's could be for the win. If I wanted to get in the house of Zon now, what would I use? <laughs> hey, Zon Key! Yeah. That, that is the answer. <laughs> Can I just say, I would use my sonic screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's worth the point. So, with that round over, and Mary Antoinette is leading on two with one for everyone else. So he brings us to our final round, double questions. Before we start, contestant number one, what are you going to wager? Ooh la la, if I lose, which I don't think I will, then I think I would like to give you my head. Your head? Oui. <coughs> Alright, I'll take it. Uh, contestant number two, what do you wager? Well, as it's after the festive season, I recently had this box of Quality Street deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> the box was actually deep fried, that's incredible. Alright, contestant number three, what do you wager? I have decided to wager my dog, K9. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going blind in my old age, I thought that was my dog. <laughs> right, but you are wagering your dog. Yes. Good. Okay. Contestant number four. Um, I would like. <laughs> I'd like to wager my voice entirely. Well, that's it. Yeah, great. Thanks. How very aerial of you from a little mermaid. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, <laughs> a double questions. Okay, so we need we need a final topic which we're going to pick. Um, types of car. Types of car. Skoda. Skoda. Yeah. Skoda. Buzz. Contestant number three. In all of my travelling, which car have I found to be the biggest show-off? 
que là In all of my traveling, what have I found the car to be the most uh, stupid and sarcastic? It's cool. Duh. <laughs> Well, let's see what happens. If my mate invited me out somewhere, how would I reply? Let's go down. Just wanted to join in. I don't know. You can't swing a sympathy board. Test number two gets the point. Citrus. Citrin. Buzz, contestant number three. What car is made from lemons? <laughs> Buzz, contestant number two. This could be for the win. What are we going to do when we get to the pub? Sit around. <laughs> Buzz! Marie Antoinette. What is a game where you have a very sore bottom but you have to race against each other called? Sit run! Lice! Sit run! <laughs> on a chair! No, no. I, I think I should win this point. Oh, this is number four. Please vote for me. Yeah. 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 The point is going to go to contestant number three. Hooray. One more type of car. Or no, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it won't be one more. Let's find out. Another type of car. Robbie. Match one. Match one. Maserati. Maserati. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Contestant number one. Oh, what the kind of rat gives birth to lots of baby rats? <laughs> A mother rat! <laughs> Contestant number one gets the point! <laughs> Contestant number two, you gotta pull your weight here. Another type of car, please. Red! Red! <laughs> Red! Buzz! Contestant number three. I just bought a book. What has it now been? Buzz! <laughs> Contestant number one. What makes a really shit blue tack? <laughs> Do we have any more answers? No? Okay! Contestant number three is the winner! Hooray! You can all come on the TARDIS! End of the game! Who would have thought that this gig would end this evening with me getting head for Marion Marion for now? Um, <laughs> uh, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, we arrive at let's say our ultimate game. Um, it, this game is seems you'd like to see it will feature everybody and you'll be delighted to know regular attenders that we have some new options. The new, option, the new options are three, seven and eight, uh, but it goes up from one to eight. So uh, can I have the first number please? Two. Two. Deleted scenes. Okay, so uh, can I have a scripted TV show, please? Father Ted. Pardon? Father Ted. Lovely. Deleted scenes from Father Ted. We've <coughs> <coughs> all been done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite want to see Mike being Father Jack. Yeah, so do I. Considering I've told him he has to be cleaned for this gig. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, piss off! <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> Actually, I think it's a load of shit. I'm gonna go and be a stripper. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> hey. Fanta! where Jack set his chair on fire. <laughs> Guns! Charge! Good. Uh, can I have another number, please? Seven. Seven. Uh, can I have a celebrity? Very wide. <laughs> I'm enjoying the, the depth of your voice as you say that. Uh, what the voices in Barry White's head are saying. Are we out of milk, Barry? 
Damn it. I wish I didn't have such large testicles. <laughs> they think I'm being slow and seductive. I just can't think how to end sentences. <laughs> it takes a long time. Very wide. You know, your name is two different islands. <laughs> Down a racial route back. <laughs> <laughs> Kept it clean. <laughs> I wonder if I should try rap. <laughs> I wonder if I should try rap. <laughs> Maybe I should just give her up. <laughs> Not a lot of Barry White fans in. <laughs> I think I've actually had enough of your love. <laughs> I wish I'd been a ballerina. <laughs> can I have another number, please? Eight. Eight. Uh, can I have a type of sport? Dog. Quidditch. <laughs> One person paying attention. Things a Quidditch commentator would never say. <laughs> What a fucking win for Slytherin that was. <laughs> and Harry's got the golden system. Oh, oh, and Snape has streaked onto the pitch. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> 180! <laughs> Malfoy's team are just 20 down, but they're looking strong and I think they might just slither in. Oh. <laughs> Look at that shot. That was magic. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so exciting, I am spellbound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he really swept that one in there. Because they use brooms. <laughs> we may need another one, it's just going to carry on. Like yeah, this. Uh, I mean, hit the pun level. Uh, can I have another number, please? Five. Five. Uh, can I have a profession, please? Crustacean farmer. <laughs> I'm going to just take farmer and you'll understand why. I'd like your things to hear from a farmer. <laughs> Welcome to my land. Trying to do the milking. <laughs> Should have bought some cows. <laughs> Harvester, but what did we combine it with? <laughs> it's probably a beef eater. <laughs> Boy, what should we be a ballerina? <laughs> Nobody got my cavalry joke. <laughs> um, good, another number. <laughs> one. One. Lovely. Can I have a movie genre, one we haven't already had tonight? James Bond. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, I'd like you to lines to hear in the James Bond film. Oh, uh, point. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't think I want to have sex with you. <laughs> Pussy galore. <laughs> you don't know me at all. <laughs> Mr. Bond. That was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> the name's James. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> My shmoney penny, I totally respect you as a woman. <laughs> M. M. O. B. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> Unexpected. Pussy <laughs> galore. Shit, I can't think of any way into that conversation. <laughs> pop, 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 fish. <laughs> No Scaramanga, when I kill, I kill for fun. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond, I expected to bang, 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 bang. So Q, what does my new watch do? That yeah, tells the time. Please, actually, I'm not going to give you a choice. Uh, can I have something that you own that you might want to brag about? Uh, like a watch or a car? Hair. Your hair, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> that you own. Um, <laughs> phrases you can use to describe your hair, but not your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got a side party. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit on the side, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just watched it. Fucking after two weeks. <laughs> what do they call it? Well, short back and sides. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps on falling out in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I had it conditioned and now it does anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good enough question. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming tonight on this free gig of ours. Uh, as you were all aware, it was free entry. It will cost you to leave. Uh, <laughs> Quite genuinely, ladies and gentlemen, if you do think that the show was worth anything this evening, uh, then please put some money into this glass. If you see anybody else stood near the door holding a glass, don't put money in their drink. It won't be out. Okay? In this glass, we'll be stood by the door with it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, usually our shows are £4. The next one here is on the 1st of February. Uh, that one obviously will be £4. Uh, in the Comedy Festival we are here on the 18th of February, which is a Tuesday night. Uh, tickets for that are currently on sale through the Comedy Festival website. They are £5. Pound. <laughs> well, they're another pound. Uh, yeah. Too many. <laughs> another pound. Uh, we'll need two more jokes for that. Uh, yeah, we'll do two more jokes to get that extra pound's worth. Um, How can I order a ticket if you don't have the internet? Uh, you can go to Curve, which I believe is serving as a centralised box office. Thank you, sir. You can, also, also, come, you can also come and see my solo show, which will be largely improvised as well. Um, that's, it, that's here on the 15th. Uh, also, five pound. Um, <laughs> It's going to be brilliant. Uh, I say that, it's improvised, it's going to be terrible. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, have I mentioned everything I usually mention at this stage? No, I haven't. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen us before uh, and you want to be able to find out where, how, yeah, you want to know how to find out about us all the time, uh, you can like our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash the same faces. You can follow us on Twitter, which is at the same faces. Or there's a section on my website, which is tomyoungcomedy.co.uk. I think if you search for the same places and improv on Google, you will find us. There's also loads of gigs on YouTube of ours now as well. Oh yeah, our YouTube page is up now as well, so uh, there, are, there are clips from previous shows if you want to see more. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that pretty much is everything. First of February is the next <coughs> one, uh, money in the pot. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for everybody you've seen. <laughs> Pretend we've left the stage.
stage, on call! Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as has become our tradition, I like how the lights came on and they seem to just slowly go back down. No, uh, as, as has become our tradition, our final game this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the ever popular Greatest Hits. Uh, I believe that Mike and Dave are going to be selling you a CD, right. uh, which will be about a specific profession. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Jazz and I will be singing the songs on said CD, and Alan will be playing guitar, because he's the only one who does. So, uh, what we need from you, ladies and gentlemen, is a profession, one that we haven't already had. Being an uncle. A big man. Being an uncle. Being an uncle. Do you get paid for being an uncle? With love. <laughs> an uncle with love. Fair enough, that makes sense. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, these two are now going to present to you uh, the compilation album, Songs of the Uncle. Hi there! Good evening. Good Hi. evening from me too. Good evening from me too. But mostly from me. We're taking a break now from your regular scheduled television broadcast to bring you a brilliant offer. That's right! We're going to offer you a compilation album of many different songs from many different genres, or most of them live as well. But all united, Mike, aren't they, by one theme? Yes, they and are. I think it's a theme that's often overlooked. Yeah, it's better than the aunt. It's better than the aunt. It is. It's not quite as woolly as a grandmother. <laughs> Still within keeping of the cousin. Still within the keeping of the cousin. <laughs> it is that, that one special bond. Songs of the uncle. Songs of the uncle. Mm. Yep, Mike. How many CDs are available? <clears throat> I think there's seven CDs. Seven CDs. How many songs on that? I think there's two songs. Two songs. On that. <laughs> no, there's four songs. There's four there's songs. Two Mike. bonus songs be be on another songs. CD, which will cost you extra. Two songs plus two bonus songs, all about being an uncle. An incredible mix of Giles and Stoners, which is available for you for thirty-nine ninety-five. But Mike. Let's not just tell the viewers about it. Why don't we hear some samples? That's a great idea, Dave. I mean, what's one of your favourite songs out of the four available? <laughs> well, I'm a particular fan of the country song, and I think you know the one I mean. Oh, do you mean, oh my darling, oh my darling, I love being an uncle? I think that might be the one. <laughs> kids.
we listen to it? Yes, let's both face it. No one filled the silence one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on the park, isn't it? It could well be. Shall we? Which is why it's called Let's Play on the Park. <laughs> Yeah. 